What happens when you mix one of the biggest stars of the most popular sport with a vibrant city in the world's biggest economy? Welcome to the world of David Beckham and Inter Miami, one of the most interesting projects in global football. American investors in European football have gained quite a destructive reputation for changing the culture of traditional clubs. The Super League sends its regards. But what about the other way around? A European footballer coming to the US? to build a club of culture within the complex environment of American soccer. Welcome to Athletic Interest. This is the story of David Beckham and Inter Miami. In his prime, David Beckham was one of the biggest names in world football. His magical feat had taken him from the muddy fields of Ridgeway Rovers to the dazzling lights of the Santiago Bernabeu. Beckham was hanging out with celebrities off the pitch and winning everything available on it. He secured the Champions League in 99 and helped Real Madrid and Manchester United to incredible levels of domestic dominance. After being dropped by Madrid coach Capello, rumors began to swirl about where the 31-year-old would end up. Most of the top teams in Europe tried to woo the former England captain, with many prepared to hand over incredible amounts of money for his services. What happened next would go on to change world football forever. Beckham rejected the European elite, packed his bags and moved to LA Galaxy in the American MLS. In 2007, the idea of a 31-year-old international player moving to America was laughable. In fact, when LA Galaxy expressed interest in signing Beckham, MLS legend Landon Donovan rubbished the idea by simply saying, David Beckham's not coming here. Why would one of Europe's most desired players move to a league with no stars and declining interest? $250 million in potential earnings probably helped, but in reality, Beckham saw an opportunity that was too good to miss. US soccer was struggling. The most valuable team was worth around 100 million and anyone could purchase a franchise for 30 million. Beckham noticed that the other US sports leagues were the most valuable in the world. The average NFL team was worth 1 billion dollars and overall income was growing at a rapid pace. Beckham reasoned that a mixture of his celebrity endorsement, football's worldwide popularity and an untapped audience of 300 million could make MLS America's largest and most lucrative sports league. With this in mind, Beckham had a special clause inserted into his contract. For a fixed fee of 25 million dollars, he would be allowed to open an MLS franchise in a city of his choice anytime he wanted. As sporting gambles go, this one appears to have paid off. When Beckham's team Inter Miami entered the league in 2020, the cost of purchasing an expansion team had exploded. Anyone looking to copy Beckham and set up their own franchise would need to hand over 300 million dollars. That means Inter Miami can be given a minimum value of 300 million dollars. Not a bad return on a 25 million dollar investment. But things aren't completely perfect. Financial experts warn of a bubble with most teams continuously failing to make a profit. But Beckham has a plan. Leveraging his brand power, European football ideals and America's growing Latin culture to bring financial success to Inter Miami. Beckham has one of the most powerful brands in world football. He regularly appears in fashion magazines and on US talk shows. His cult following has landed him cameo roles in films such as King Arthur and he commands a growing Instagram audience of more than 60 million followers. Celebrities are keen to be seen with Mr. Golden Balls. David and his wife Victoria are often rubbing elbows with Hollywood royalty such as Will Smith, George Clooney, the Obamas and the Queen herself, Oprah Winfrey. Association with Beckham brings huge attention to your brand. Adidas, Pepsi, Samsung, L'Oreal and H&M have all paid Beckham lucrative sums for an endorsement. Beckham has since invested in numerous sporting ventures, including a London-based esports team in 2020. Thanks to shrewd business deals, Beckham's empire is reportedly worth $450 million. MLS has already felt the power of brand Beckham. 
After his playing stint, league chief Don Garba told newspapers, Without doubt, MLS has more global awareness than at any other time in our history and has more legitimacy in the United States because of David. Every measure of our business has grown because of him. Beckham's impact at former team LA Galaxy was so great that the club unveiled a stature in his honor. Inter Miami are gaining their own celebrity following, with superstars Tom Brady and Pharrell Williams attending the club's first match of the 2021 season. The influence of Brent Beckham on Inter Miami finances is hard to measure, but association with one of the biggest brands in sport might bring lucrative sponsorship and star players to the club. With Messi and Ronaldo reaching the end of their European careers, reports are suggesting that they will join Beckham at Inter Miami. Creating a team of superstars is a smart strategy. If Messi joins, he will bring global attention and on-field success, allowing Inter Miami to attract more sponsorship and a greater number of fans. With most players extending their European stays, fans have been underwhelmed by Inter Miami's recruitment. Instead of Cavani, Luis Suarez or William, Beckham has signed Kieran Gibbs and Ryan Shawcross. Inter Miami cannot rely completely on big-name players. MLS rules impose a salary cap and limit each club to three high-profile signings. Sustained success requires developing a team of top-quality homegrown players. Taking inspiration from his roots, Beckham has invested in a European-style youth academy. This European flavor includes the appointment of English coach Phil Neville, who is said to be employing the same intensive training methods used by Premier League clubs. Having a strong European-style youth system could become a huge income stream for Inter Miami. European clubs are starting to demand US talent, with MLS Academy graduates Alfonso Davis and Tyler Adams transferring to German clubs Bayern Munich and RB Leipzig. Inter Miami are in a brilliant position to use their academy to exploit this trend. The club's former sporting director agrees. There is a larger investment in buying younger players and developing them. At the end of it all, you hopefully get an opportunity to sell that player for some return. The Super League scandal has exposed how American owners of European clubs are moving their attention away from local communities and looking to increase international support. This has led to massive protests and calls for some US investors to sell their ownership stakes. While Kroenke and the Glazers are alienating local communities, Beckham has taken the opposite approach. Every aspect of the Inter Miami brand has been precisely designed to complement the local community. The white herons on the club's logo represent the freedom and beauty of Miami. The presence of the sun and moon is a nod to the 24-7 vibrancy of the city. The three-pointed shield is a reference to the three main counties of Miami, and the pink rink draws inspiration from the Miami Circle, an indigenous people site in downtown that dates back thousands of years to Miami's first inhabitants. Pink may be a rare color in football, but Beckham chose this on purpose. The light pink of the logo and jersey are inspired by the Miami skyline at dawn and dusk. The culture and heritage of Miami citizens was always on Beckham's mind. Naming the team Club Internacional de Football Miami is a respectful nod to over 70% of the city's population that have a Latin or Hispanic background. In the words of the club's own website, Inter Miami will celebrate all that makes Miami extraordinary. We will be multilingual and omnicultural. We will harness the city's great history and unmatched culture to create new traditions, rituals and symbols. Inter Miami was created to bring pride and representation to the city. This unwavering dedication to the Miami people is paying off. Inter Miami merchandise set a record for the fastest selling in MLS history and the club already boasts numerous groups of ultras that are so fanatical they turned up to support the under-14 team in a preseason friendly. Beckham's strategy for Inter Miami is clear. He will leverage his international appeal to attract big names and lucrative sponsors. This will pay for the European-style youth academy that provides the team with quality players and future transfer revenue. This all happens within a team that strives to maintain and nurture deep links with the local community. With the 2026 US-based World Cup promising to explode local interest in soccer, Inter Miami is perfectly placed to leverage their celebrity, strong community support and 
excellent facilities to become one of the biggest clubs in MLS. If this got you interested in building your own football club, but you are not David Beckham, we have the right app for you. Top 11 is a free-to-play mobile game for iOS, Android and web browser in which you get to run every aspect of your own football club. You could even name your club Inter Miami and compete against friends and other players for trophies. In the beginning, you just have a small stadium, no merchandise to sell and a team slightly better than Fort William. But you have control over every aspect of your team to make it a success. It's lots of fun and Jose Mourinho is going through the tutorial with you. So that app must be a special one.